Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is the first video in a lengthy series about polyrhythms. Now, to understand these, you're going to need at least a basic understanding of time signatures. So if you're unclear on that, check my playlist. There's a four video series on it. At least watch the first one and you should be okay. So, now, I'm sure most of you recognize that as 3 over 2. Or was it 2 over 3? See, the tricky thing about polyrhythms is that without any sort of musical context, if you're just playing the notes as the basic polyrhythmic form, there's always a pair that sound exactly the same. So the next question is, is how are they different? Well, it all depends on the relation to the pulse. Now, let's talk about the wording for a second. If I have 2 over 3, the most important part is that the 2 is over the 3, and the 3 is relative to the pulse. So if I was to take a bar of 3, 4, so there was 3 quarter notes per bar, and we put a kick drum, or you're just stomping your foot, in quarter notes, so we'd have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, let's cut those up each into eighth notes. So 1, and 2, and 3, and 1, and 2, and 3, and... Now within those eighth notes, let's play every third one. So 1, and 2, and 3, and 1, and 2, and 3, and... Now, we have two equally spaced notes over the exact same spaces, three equally spaced notes. That is 2 over 3. So how do we get 3 over 2? Well, it's the same kind of idea. We're going to take a bar 2, 4. Same thing, we're going to go to bass drum on 2. So 1, 2. 1, 2. But this time, we're going to cut them into triplets. So 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet. And play every other one. So 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet. Yeah. Turn on the kit. So, now you've heard it on the drum set. Let's adjust it a little bit. Now, let's take the 2 over 3, and we're going to take that 2, and we're going to move it over. We don't always have to have the note where they're together on beat 1 to that. Cool, there's some interesting rhythmic variations there. Let's do the same thing with 3 over 2, moving the 3. Now that we've heard these isolated, let's hear them in a groove context on the drum set. Cool. Now, let's hear some more variations. Let's take 3 over 2 as a fill. Alright, now this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. We're going to take 2 over 3, applied with a specific sticking pattern and flams, and we're going to use this as a fill within a groove, starting on the end of 3 over 8 notes. I know it's kind of a mouthful. Check out the PDF transcription. So now, we've talked a lot about 2 over 3 and 3 over 2, let's check out some other of the more basic polyrhythms. Let's talk about 3 over 4 and 4 over 3. All 
All right, let's take these new polyrhythms and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other polyrhythms where we're going to take the top number and we're going to move it around. Cool. Now the same thing with 4 over 3. Cool. Let's hear them on the drum set. Now let's take 3 over 4 and just make a new groove out of it. Alright, now this last one is for all the metal heads. I'm going to take this into like a heavier context and I'm going to use the 4 over 3 concept with a Swiss triplet applied as a blast beat. I'm also going to take some 4 over 3 just as an actual groove. You'll probably want to check out the transcription on this guy as well. It's a lot of fun. Check it out. There you go. Now, I hope this helped clear up some stuff about polyrhythms for you guys. Now, this is going to be a lengthy series. As it stands now, it's going to be nine parts. So, make sure you check in next week when we take a look at some more difficult polyrhythms. We're going to look at 3 over 5, 3 over 7, and 3 over 8. So, I hope you guys dug it. See ya. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you really liked this particular presentation on polyrhythms, for less than the price of a coffee, you can buy an extended masterclass version of this directly from me off my website, AaronEdgar.com. Now this comes with over 10 minutes of new playing examples. It has three more polyrhythmic grooves, three more polyrhythmic fills, an alternate practice method, five variations on a Gary Chafee style polyrhythmic drum break, and a whopping 36 rhythmic variations on the polyrhythms we just talked about. You can't go wrong. Check it out. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Later.